Hello everyone, welcome to Pep Coding. In this video, we will look at the question count the triplets. Okay, so let's take the question statement. Right. So this is my question. It is saying that there are given an array of distinct integers. Right. I have my array of distinct integers. The task is to count all the triplets such that the sum of two elements equals the third element. So I have to find all the triplets in this uh, distinct integers array such that such that the sum of two numbers or two elements equals the third element now what does this mean uh, let's say my one triplet is going to be 2 5 and 7 because if i add 2 and 5 i will get 7 right so this is going to be my one triplet what is going to be uh, another triplet let's say 2 plus 3 gives me 5 right so 2 plus 3 equals to 5 this is also a triplet another triplet would be 1 plus 3 equals to 4 right this is also a triplet so i have to uh, i have to find the count of all the triplets so i don't have to print the triplets only uh, i just have to print the count of all the triplets in this array so what is going to be my brute force approach right my brute force approach is going to be that i'll take one element Right. And for uh, this element, I will have uh, one another element which will find for every other elements. If it, it will check uh, for every other elements that if they add up to that this this target. Right. I can have this approach as well. So two will be fixed. It will check for the rest of the array. Right. Then five will be fixed. It will check for the rest of the array. So we can use that approach. But it is very it is very slow and we have to optimize it in some way. Right. So what is going to be my optimized approach here? First, we are going to sort this array. So if I sort this array, I would get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 7. Okay, if I sort this array, I would get this. Now, I will check. Uh, I, will, I will have a pointer, let's say i here. And i will be fixed at this value. Right, i is fixed at 7. Now, if i is fixed at 7, right, let's write it like this. Right, i is at 7 and for i, equal, i equals to 7 or i is at 7, I will have two another pointers which is low and this is at 1 and a high which is at 5. Right, so what am I doing is, first I sorted the array, then I took three pointers. One, this uh, one which is going to be at the end of the array, right? It is starting from the end of the array, and this will be my target, or it will represent my target. So, for my target value, I will have my first two low and high, which, when added up, will give me that target value, right? I just need to find the count of distinct integers, right? Uh, I have to find the count of all the triplets. So, I have to find the sum of the two numbers which will add up to that target. Okay, uh, we will see why we sorted the array in the next iterations. But for now, let's just check for this only. Right. And also we will have a count variable. Count which is starting from zero. Okay. So let's see. Now we are at seven, right? Now for seven, we will check the sum of these two numbers for low and high. Now one plus five, uh, one plus five gives me six. And 6 is smaller than 7, right? If 6 is smaller than 7, then it means that I need to increase 6 to get 7, right? If 1 plus 5 gives me 6 and 6 is less than 7, 6 is less than my target, right? So I need to increase the value in some way, increase the sum in some way that it gets me to 7. Now, if I want to increase this value, do I have to increase my high, right? If I increased my high to 7 only, then I would get 8, right? And that is not okay. So what I can do is, I can increase my low. If I increase my low, I will increase this sum, right? And if I decrease my high, I will decrease this sum. So, what I will do is, I will increase my low, okay? My low is at 2 now. Now, I will check again the sum of the two numbers, right? So the sum of the two numbers are going to be 
2 plus 5 which gives me 7 which means I found a valid pair which adds up to my target right 2 plus 5 is a valid pair which adds up to 7 so I will increase my count to 1 because I found a triplet now I will increase my low and I will decrease my high and why is that because I know that for any other any other number besides uh, 5 there isn't there isn't going to be any other number besides 5 or 2 which is going to give me 7 right only here uh, the only number added with 2 is 5 which will give me 7 and we know that the array uh, we have distinct integers right so if we have distinct integers then I found a pair I will increase my low as well I'll increase my high as well. Now I will check again. Uh, now 3 plus 4 is equals to 7. So I'll increase my count again. Okay. Then I'll increase my low. I'll increase my uh, decrease my high. Right. Now they uh, intersect each other. Which means I found all the valid pairs for 7. So I will decrease my uh, i here. And then I'll start again from i minus 1. And from zero now i will check again in this array for seven i was checking in that array right but for five i will check in this array and why are we doing this right why did we sort this array and why are we trying to find uh, the target or the pairs before the values of the target why are we trying to do that we are trying to do that because every single element or be before this before this target every single element before this target is going to be the only element which when added up gives me that target right if, if i have to find any value which will add up to five it is only going to exist in these numbers i cannot add two and seven right i cannot add two and seven to give me five i don't have any negative numbers right so i cannot add two and uh, seven to give me five that means that the only two values which will add up to five are going to be before five okay so so uh, first i will check for one and four one and four gives me five so i will have three okay then low is going to increase high is going to decrease i have two and three added up gives me five so the count is going to increase right now low is here high is here so uh, i found all the values for i right so I'll decrease my i again and the low is going to go back to 1, the high is going to go to uh, i minus 1. Okay, so 1 plus 3 gives me 4. I found another uh, count. So I'll de de uh, increase my low, decrease my high and my count. Okay, so I've, uh, I've had this count here. Now, they two intersect each other, right, which means that I found all the valid pairs for 4 only. So, I will decrease my 3, uh, I will decrease my i to 3, low is going to, back to go back to 0, high is going, going to go to i minus 1, okay. So, low plus high, 1 plus 2 gives me 3, we found another pair, right. So, it is, uh, the count is going to increase, then my i, I cannot go back any further, right. Because if it, if it goes any further, there are, aren't going to be any values. Because there is going to be one value left, right? So I need to find pairs. So my loop is going to stop at here. And the count for this, this question is going to be 6. So I hope you understand this approach. Now let's try to code this. Now what is the first thing that I'm trying to do? I will sort my array, right? So, so array sort sort. Yeah, right. Next. Next, after sorting. I will run a for loop for i. Now this i is starting from the end, right? I have to fix that i. This is going to be my target. So array dot length minus one, right? And then i is greater than or equal to two because if it goes any further, then I won't find any pairs, right? So i minus minus. Now I will have a low and the low is going to be at zero and a high, which is going to be at i minus one. Okay, and then I'll run a while loop while low is less than high. Okay, and let's find a sum as well. Sum is going to be array of low plus array of high. 
right now i'll check that if my sum is equals to my uh, arr of 5 if it is equal to my target if it is equal to my target i'll increase my count so i need a count as well here let's make a count right i'll increase my count i'll increase my low and i'll decrease my high okay else if if my sum is less than arr of 5 this means that i just need to increase my low right i need to increase my sum so i'll increase my low if i need to uh, decrease the value if it is in else then i'll decrease my value by decreasing high okay so after this loop has been run i'll get all my counts so i just need to return count from here okay so i think this code is done it's a very simple code let's run this it is submitted let's uh, submit this it is also passing all the test cases so i hope you understand this question if you don't i would suggest re-watching the part which you don't understand don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you for watching